thank you so much and good afternoon. I was about to start with saying hello, my name's Jess Myers, I'm the CMO of the Very Group, but you've done that job for me spectacularly. But good afternoon, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. I love MadFest. I come every single year, I learn a huge amount. I just love getting together with our industry. But today I'm here to talk to you about riding the storm and how Very has been doing that over 130 years. So at the Very Group, we are incredibly proud to have two extraordinary brands sitting in our portfolio. We have Very and we have Littlewoods. And at Very, we are the UK's largest domestic pure play retailer. Basically, we're an online department store. We have 2,000 brands across multiple categories. Fashion, home, sports, electricals, toys, gifts, beauty, and as well as offering our customers extraordinary retail experiences, we also offered them flexible ways to pay through our payment platform called VeryPay. And our customers love coming to us because they truly value the integration of shopping for everything they want in one place with those flexible payments. So MadFest, title of this um, conference is around riding the storm, but I'm not going to talk to you about the storm in the sea, I'm going to talk to you about a storm in the sky. Why does Vary have permission to talk about skies and aeroplanes? Well, this is our home. This is a listed aircraft hangar in Speak in Liverpool, and it is also Vary headquarters. It used to be Speak's airport was Liverpool Airport, and back in 1986, it's moved to the John Lennon Airport, but today, the buildings are still in place. That is the air traffic control tower. We can see that from our desks. It's now the Crown Plaza Hotel but there's also a number of planes parked right outside our office. Here's one of our ad campaigns from the early noughties. It's a men's fashion campaign, which was shot on site next to one of these fantastic planes. We've got an incredible 130-year history and really rich heritage. And as just mentioned, we have been riding storms and turbulent times for quite some time. But actually, We've learned from our history. We've learned from what helps motivate and predict what our customers are after. And we can pinpoint throughout our history, every moment there has been a time of disruption and a time of turbulence, we've used that as an opportunity to pivot our business, to innovate for our customers, or to disrupt the market. The best place to start a story is to go back to the very beginning. And Very has got a wonderful home and cultural community within Liverpool. This is Sir John Moore, who founded Littlewoods back in the 1930s. And our story of innovation starts here. We started off as a catalogue. And even now, when we speak to our customers through many groups, they feel incredibly nostalgic when they're thinking about Very. That point the catalogue arrived on the doorstep, you go through to find the item that you most desired, you turn down the corner, and that moment of joy that arrived still resonates with our customers today. But from a catalogue, we pivoted our business to be an e-commerce business. Back in the early 1990s, we were one of the leading e-commerce businesses. We also had a collection of high street stores as well and we pivoted our business from being multi-channel through to being a pure play digital retailer. And of course, that has given us great benefit over the last few years when customers were really focusing on how they can be fulfilling their needs through buying online. And then we come to where we are today. We've gone from catalog to bricks to clicks to app. And of course, we're now moving into another period of significant disruption. So what does that mean for where we are? today. We are starting to see, of course, a huge amount of disruption happening from a financial services perspective. We are seeing the payments category being heavily disrupted. We're seeing heavy competitive nature from our retailers. Of course, retail is always competitive, looking for greater customer share of wallet. We're about to round the corner into our most important quarter. The golden quarter is coming up soon, where our competitors will be out in force. We've started to see customers, of course, returning to the high street, so we're really focused on how we can capture our share of their spend. And whilst all of this is happening around us, we are seeing a significant shift from a macroeconomic perspective, especially from a cost of living crisis for all consumers, but particularly felt by the very customer. 
So as you start to look back across our history and think about the moments we've pivoted as a business during times of turbulence, there's a really common answer to how we've done that. At our core, we are a customer-obsessed business. We spend a phenomenal amount of our time and our efforts and our resources really understanding our customer and what makes them tick. Understanding how we can support them through their lives and through their journey and how we can innovate our business to make sure that we are being incredibly relevant to our customers when they need us most. So it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to our amazing and incredibly loyal customer. I'm usually a bit of a stage pacer, and I'm terrified of breaking my neck falling down this. So I'm trying to plant myself into one place. So, our household hero. Let me introduce you to our household hero. So, this is our target customer. Our target customer is over-index in being female. 35 to 45 year age range, has children, works full time. So, you can start to paint a picture of an incredibly busy person, juggling the needs of their family, putting their family first, constantly needing to multitask. And like so many of us, who I'm sure can relate to that, we can also relate to the fact that we manage our lives in the palm of our hands. Everything is done through the phone. In fact, 70% of our traffic comes through mobile. It's an incredibly important channel for us. And when we're thinking about gaining and garnering insight for our customer, you need to look no further than her apps on her home screen to get a really good insight into what she's all about. So let's start with her photos. Family and friends always come first. She'll jump into her photos throughout the day to find moments of joy and moments of happiness. Loves TV, too busy to watch it during the day, evenings and weekends, of course. Multi-screening all the time. Loves a bit of Ant and Dec Saturday night takeaway. She'll also be keeping up with the school WhatsApp group, which will be blowing up on her phone at the same time as going through her social media. She's got all social channels. It's how she keeps in touch with her friends. It's how she follows the celebrities and the influencers that she's really fond of. And it's how she gets style hints and tips for the latest fashion and the latest style tips and trends. Which brings us on to shopping. Our customer doesn't go shopping anymore. She is always shopping, constantly browsing, fitting their in around her incredibly busy lifestyle, making sure she's looking after the needs of her family. She's shopping on the school run on the bus on the way to work. She's lying in bed at night thinking, oh my gosh, it's World Book Day next week and I completely forgot to buy a costume. She's always shopping. And so this obsession with our customers being our absolute constant laser focus shows up quite simply in our results. How we capture her share of wallet, how we capture her spend across our categories, but we also have the most loyal customers in retail. So marketers, what does that all mean? for us. It won't be lost on you that the modern day marketer is a customer ambassador with customer obsession, coupled with deep commercial acumen. And our job is to balance the art and the science of that in the sweet spot that helps us deliver accelerated business growth. So I've talked to you a little bit about our customer, and one of the things I'll pull through is her passion for fashion. That will be the thread that runs through this next section. Loves fashion, but commercially, we love fashion too. Because we know that when a customer comes to us and shops fashion, 
She'll cross, shop across all of our categories, eight out of ten of our categories. She'll also shop for the entire family, and she's incredibly loyal, and she'll come back for more. So we make sure we pull together for her really enticing content, content that talks to the thousands of brands that she loves that we house, content that talks to style, fashion tips and inspiration, that draws her into the brand and helps deepen that relationship. Something a little bit like this. So as we're looking for style inspiration, we're also acutely aware that this is a really difficult time, a difficult time for everyone, especially the very customer. They're really starting to feel the pinch of the cost of living crisis and what that means for their household budgets. Another point of innovation for us, we've pivoted to create our everyday range of affordable, valuable products for our customers that have um, great durability in the product. So she can shop for the entire family across our everyday range. And about 85% of this range is priced at 30 pounds or less. So this is now the one-stop shop for all your wardrobe staples, looking after the family, herself, her husband, and her children. But she's not just looking for wardrobe staples. She wants a bit of razzmatazz in her life as well. She's about to get ready for her holly bobs. And she's been looking forward to that for quite some time. And whether she's going to Brighton, Bournemouth, or Brittany, she's looking for that beautiful capsule wardrobe for her holiday. Yes, she's thinking about cost and price. So actually, what she's after is one signature piece that she can style in many different ways. And again, that's why she comes to us. Get dressed with me, ways to wear, take one item, you take it from beach to bar, sunset to sun-kissed, day to night, and that's what the customer is looking for. But we've also talked about how she absolutely loves celebrities. And so we have some wonderful celebrity partnerships where we have curated collections. This is our partnership with Lucy Mecklenburg. Lucy has a wonderful collection with us, very much focused on bold colors, floral prints, Girl Next Door, and lots of Mummy and Me icons as well. But we also have a great relationship with Michelle Keegan. She's got a more of a sophisticated um, style in her collection. In fact, I am wearing Michelle Keegan today. You can buy this on the very site. And the celebrities are really important for connecting with our customers and helping them with that style. So how do we stay calm when noise is happening all around us and we're finding ourselves under immense pressure? The evidence is overwhelming that purpose-driven companies consistently outperform. And we make sure that our purpose guides our decision-making. Our purpose is to help families get more out of life. So what does that mean? What does more mean for us? More means understanding our customers after the big moments and the small moments. And yes, for the domestic emergencies, we need to be there too. The category itself is screaming out for more. How do we modernize the catalog? How do we take the magic and the sparkle, the energy and the joy from the catalog and inject some much needed modernity into the current sh customer's shopping experience? More is in, the, in our company. More has been our guiding energy and focus. Right back from the 1930s when Sir John Moore created the Little Woods catalog, more still guides our decision making and more has importance from a kind of cultural and community perspective. We live in the heart of Liverpool. No more is there a wonderful explanation of more than the Eurovision Song Contest itself. There's joy, there's passion, there's energy. We need to bring that into everything that we do. But more also helps guide our investment decisions. And I talked about the investment decisions at the point of pivot and understanding the customer. Here's a couple of examples. We created Skygate, which is our state-of-the-art distribution center where we can get orders from click to customer in a matter of minutes. It's incredibly important, especially during high trading periods like the Golden Quarter and Black Friday. We're constantly in innovating and on a three-year tech transformation journey, innovating the customer experience right through from understanding before, during, and after their shopping experience. And also our financial services products too. As a retailer with 4.4 million customers, we are the UK's largest data asset. We're sitting on a wealth of shopper data and financial services data, and we bring that together to 
truly understand our customer journey and how we can predict what we need to do for them next. And it's paying off for us, right? We're seeing year-on-year -year growth in our customer numbers, but most importantly, we're seeing significant shifts in our customer satisfaction. Make sure your crew have their seatbelts on. The greatest companies build their brands from the inside out. And what's incredibly important is ensuring every single one of your, one of your colleagues is clear on the North Star, clear on the journey that you're going to, and we celebrate that really regularly. So I'm going to invite you inside the aircraft hangar now. This is our head office, and we call this a balcony briefing. And we run these about once a month. We get all of our colleagues together to make sure everybody is pointing in the right direction. Everyone is on the same flight path. We present business strategy. I had the chance to stand up here and present the entire brand strategy, because every colleague in the company knows that they have a role in delivering the brand every day to our customer. Because the brand is an advertising campaign. It's not a logo. It's how the customer feels when they land on the site. It's how they navigate to that perfect product. How we get the product into their hands. How we answer a complaint if we need to. Everyone needs to point in the right direction. But as well as being a collective, organized um, uh, range of colleagues going th forward to our North Star, we need to celebrate individuality as well. And that's why our colleague network groups are incredibly important to celebrate diversity and inclusion and authenticity and bringing your best self to work. Of course, we need to stand together as, a, as an organization, but we really celebrate colleagues' individuality and the passion and the creativity they bring to their roles every single day. So, of course, change is the only constant. Yes, we have been riding away for 130-odd years, and yes, we're heading into another challenging time. But we'll continue to do now what we have always done before. We will co-pilot with our customers and we navigate the storm together. We will obsess over them so we can learn from them, so we can continue to pivot at pace with their changing needs. And we can make sure that we bring our colleagues on the journey with us. And despite navigating this over the last 130 years, it still feels like we're at the start of the story. The best is simply yet to come, so keep your eyes peeled, Keep your ear to the ground, because some very good things are about to happen. Thank you.